Good morning, you guys. So, this is what the reality mm. of our mornings usually look like. Is Jordan's already awake? <laughs> He's doing research on what the first structure that we're gonna build on our tiny house homestead here in Panama. And we're, we're thinking, yeah, we've been thinking about maybe building our first like shed utility closet to be a cob house. I don't know if you guys are familiar with what that is, but it's basically just uh, materials that you find on the plot of land that you're building on. It's made out of like clay, hay, and sand. Yeah. And you mix it all together. And, and then you it stomp hardens. it with your feet. It looks like it's like building us out of Play-Doh. It looks yeah. so much more fun. It does look super, super fun. So anyway, this is usually what our mornings look like. Me and Lola are cuddling in the, in the bed for another hour or two. <laughs> So, first things first this morning, I'm on another no coffee kick. I'm realizing coffee is no good for me. It's no good for really anybody. <laughs> it makes me happy. It's no good for anybody when I drink it. So, I'll show you guys what I've been making every morning in replacement of coffee. So this is a little concoction that I've been making on the days that I'm trying not to drink coffee and that is just basically hot cocoa. Chocolate is obviously a huge thing down here in Central America because it's grown here. Um, so what you'll find a lot of places is what they call ceremonial hot chocolate. And what makes it different is it's pure cacao um, and then they add cinnamon, sometimes like really spicy spices like cayenne and then they'll sweeten it usually with like honey of some sort. So I absolutely love the ceremonial hot chocolate recipe um, with all those spices and everything. But I'm not craving a cayenne spicy hot chocolate every single morning so this morning I just went with the OG hot chocolate with oat milk and a little bit of honey. So I'm actually not completely ready to give up coffee. So I have an idea of what I'm gonna do this morning to still utilize my coffee in some way or another. So let me show you guys what I'm thinking. Wow, you guys, I'm pretty sure I just found a new love for coffee, a new appreciation for coffee. So obviously, as you could see, I made my own coffee scrub for my face and my, my body. It was super simple to make. It was just coffee grounds, brown sugar, coconut oil, and vanilla extract to make it smell super, super good. I've heard coffee is amazing for not only exfoliation, but really good for if you have acne prone skin like myself um, or oil prone skin. It's great for inflammation because of the caffeine and the antioxidants in it. So if you have any redness or puffy dark circles under your eyes, it's supposed to be really good for that. So I'm excited to keep experimenting with that scrub, maybe use it a couple times a week, um, but it was really easy to make. So I'm actually gonna put a link in the description below. So if you guys wanna go try this out for yourself, you can just head to our website and I'll have the recipe right up there for you. So I just wanna share with you guys quickly what I'm using for face cream. I actually picked this stuff up at a local's farmer's, a local's far, local farmer's market here in Boguete and it's so nice. It literally feels and looks like whipped cream and it's very very lightweight all it is is mango butter shea butter cocoa butter and i believe a little bit of jojoba oil to kind of just make it a little bit not so thick and i find it also works really really well as a makeup primer so if you are someone that wears makeup like myself um you don't need a primer you just need something that is you know, an oil-based moisturizer because oils are good for the skin. That is such a, a misconception. As long as you're using the right oils and you're taking care of your skin, then oil is good for your skin. So now I think I'm actually gonna go get a little yoga session in. The weather is 
legit perfect outside. It's like 75 degrees, the sun is shining, not too hot, not too cold, not humid, fresh air all the time. <sighs> I freaking love it here. That was a long time coming. I probably haven't done yoga in like two weeks. It's a perfect day to do it. It's actually just starting to rain now, so I snuck it in just in time. The camp spot we're actually staying at is like a perfect five minute walk into town. Um, and there's lots of grass area to get workouts in or yoga sessions in. There's a bathroom, a shower, a cooking area, a pool. So it's literally been amazing staying here because we're still in the comfort of our bus as well. And this little nugget. <laughs> so I convinced Jordan to go on a little date night tonight. And I'm gonna take you guys along. I haven't decided what I wanna do yet. I have two options in mind. I haven't decided which one I wanna do yet. Maybe I can convince him to do both. So I think I'm gonna head in, get all ready for the night, probably make a nice little salad, and have a little night on the town. having just a Jordan and I date night tonight because one of our new friends, her name's Jackie, reached out to us and she wants to take us out for dinner tonight and she's amazing and we can't not do that. You want know, to know one of my favorite things about making friends here what? is we just know enough to say goodbye. I know, that's what I was saying. Like it's not like like this time, it's like, oh this is our last time with Jackie. Exactly. Which is usually what it is, I would go with them once, maybe it's twice. It's like you almost have this feeling, it's like, oh, like you, you don't have this fear of getting too attached. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's something, like it's a relationship that we can keep nurturing and keep nurturing because we're gonna be with her for a really long time. So we're gonna go out. We've had enough one-on-one -on -one nights in the bus for the last I mean, few weeks. We've only been together for 700 days straight. I know. <laughs> so when someone asks to go out with us, we usually always say yes. So we're heading out on the town. Oh, hello, hello. Me and Lola cuddling in the bed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jackie is one of the nicest human beings I have ever met in my entire life. I'm just... So overwhelmed. So overwhelmed by this place, how life has been lately, just everything, the people we've met, all the opportunities that are being presented to us. It's just been amazing, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming along. And if you want to follow along this journey more in depth of us moving to Panama, buying land, starting this tiny house homestead, you can follow our joint YouTube, The Nomadic Movement. Um, and that's more Jordan and I together rather than just me. Um, Do you want to end for... this with me giving a little bit of steak? She's so excited. Oh, okay. Ready? You ready? No. Shake. Other one. The other one. I want the other one. She doesn't I want the other one. She didn't even choose. Alright, no. End the vlog. Alright, we love you. Goodbye. <laughs>